So today we are going to be setting up the HR data model. In the previous class, which is I think uh, 12, we set up the parameters the, because we set up the parameters first because every other module is going to be using uh, the objects coming from the parameters. But this time we are going to be setting up the HR. This time the HR is a complete department uh, that we need to set up. Don't worry, I'm going to explain the, 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 this relationships to you after now, the many to one and one to many relationship and we're going to be talking about Hibernate ORM in the in the next class after this one. For now, I want us to set up the HR model. It's going to be quite easy to do. So I'm going to go back to our Google Drive here. And I'm going to go back one step and how the HR, HR is available now. So if I open it up and the model will be available, okay? So this uh, asset to be available as we go. The complete application, you also have the link to the complete application in my GitHub, so you can always get it, but I recommend you follow the step-by-step -step with me. Okay, so I'm going to download this. Uh, let me see, so it's going to come here, HR, and right-click here and click on download. Okay, so it downloads, so I'm going to simply unzip it and it's called Model, model 2. So it has employee, employee type, job title, and person ID. So I'm going to copy all of them by clicking on copy and I will just paste it right inside here and paste. Okay. So now we will not have any error. Let me just make sure. Okay. Perfect. Ah, uh, we have error. <laughs> so Let's see, uh, so we have fleet up version 2. I'm just going to take out this and simply click on common object and say import class. Okay, so the same thing goes for job title. Um, come here, take out this. I think you have to do exactly the same thing. So just come here and say import class. And permit me to just uh, take a look at the parameters to see if there is some kind of... Okay, everything should be fine. So we now have the HR model now, employee, employee type, job title, and person. Again, person now is also a mapped superclass because uh, why do we have this? Okay, so, so why do we have this? Okay, so we have to correct this, stick out this. And once you do it, simply come here and import class and import class one more time. Uh, yeah, okay, great. So now we have the HR model. What it means is that if I, if I move this way, we have all these tables are now available to us. But an employee have a country, he has a state, he has a city. The, city the, the state and country, they are available in parameters. So you can now see why we have to, to uh, set up the parameters model first. So the HR data model is complete. So we have the data model for the HR because we want to set up the HR model first and later we now do every other model one, one by one. So we are going to stop here. In the next part, we are now going to look at relationships. It's very important aspects we are going to be talking about in the next part. For now, let me stop here. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any challenges, let me know in the comment box below or if you have challenges fetching the assets we use, uh, also let me know. I'm going to uh, share it with you personally. I remain time to the tech pro and let's see in the next part.